Now, I like to refer to the ice light as your opportunity to become a lighting Jedi Knight. <laughs> because that's kind of what it looks like when you're using it. So you start off with this flashlight, or a flashlight similar to it. This is the, um, shoot, what is the name of the brand? Oh, I've got the top part. Defiant. It is the Defiant 700 lumen LED flashlight from Lowe's, actually it was Home Depot, sorry. Home Depot for um, $39.95. So that's your big expense, is this flashlight. And it is kind of a big expense. But it's also incredibly intense. Most flashlights are 250, 300 lumen for a nice bright one. This is 700 lumen. Okay, so it's a nice bright, takes big old, and it comes with the, all the D batteries. So, you know, of course you gotta eventually replace them, but you don't have to buy it right at the beginning. Then, you get some <laughs> ABS pipe. So it wasn't, this is cheap stuff, okay? So this whole long piece, and it was longer until I cut a section off of it, was like eight to ten dollars for this big piece of pipe. So I took the big piece of pipe and I cut a 28, because I wanted a 24 inch eye slice, so I cut a 28 inch section of this ABS pipe. What is the diameter? It is a one and a half inch diameter ABS. Then, you get one of these. This is a two inch to one and one half inch adapter. It's kind of a flexible adapter. And it has this little tightening device on it right here. So it's a little bit, I have to confess, this is the hard part. The rest of the construction is pretty easy. <laughs> the hardest part is getting it over the end of the flashlight. It will go. <laughs> but you gotta work it, baby. <laughs> so. Oh, actually, it's going easier now. I've done it like three times now, so it's... Uh, so that's actually a rubber adapter. Yes. Okay, so you get it on there, and you probably don't need to tighten this, <laughs> but I will just to be sure. All right, screwdriver. I mean, you may think some of my stuff today was not that useful. Some of it may have been useful. If you don't like this, I feel sorry for you. Is <laughs> <laughs> this thing? I love this thing. Okay. So now I got my adapter on. So then what I did is you need to make friends if you haven't already with a store called Tap Plastic. It's a wonderful store and it has lots of little things background like black plex you can lay products on and. And then just all sorts of stuff. I just go wandering around going, oh, what do I want? You know, finding things that are useful. So this is just some um, uh, lining for a window. Like it's, it's to put on a window for, to make it a frost, look like frosted glass when it was installed as regular glass. And it was sold by the linear foot and I got an extra big piece because I didn't know how much I might mess up. I could have probably gotten six inches, but I got a whole foot, and it's kind of wide, and it was way more than enough, and it was seven dollars, so you know I could have spent more like three dollars and fifty cents. So I just got some of this and cut it, and then I took the black pipe, cut it with a hacksaw, cut it with a hacksaw drilled a hole to make it big enough to put in uh, my little uh, handheld 
kind of saw his alcohol, though. Some of my mind's blanking. Jigsaw. And then I just went down the end. And then took me about two minutes on each side. Peeled it away. Then I lined the back of it with aluminum foil. I actually made it once without the aluminum foil and the black pipe was sucking up a little bit too much light. So I just took off the aluminum foil and all I did was attach it with two little pieces of tape at the end so when I slid it, it didn't crumple up. Piece of cake. Rolled up the diffusion material, stuck it inside. Then I also bought this dollar fifty cent inch and a half cap. It has aluminum foil in it as well to reflect the light back down. <coughs> you take the ice light, you just pop this little guy in here. Need some Star Wars theme music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lights on. Lights are going off. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's a, um, a daylight balance, by the way. Oh my God. 5,000 Kelvin light. So um, you can even do strobe effect, right? And so it has two power settings, low and high. And so it's cool because you, it's actually bright enough when you're doing a close-up, it's bright enough to just shoot by by holding it. But what's really cool about it is the ability to paint with it. Because unlike wow. painting with a traditional, like some people paint with light, like with a little flashlight, you, you don't get the smooth highlights that you do with this. It's really quite beautiful when you shoot.